Hi everyone, my name is Monica and I'm going to be doing an updated booktube newbie tag for 2022. So the reason why I am doing this updated tag is because I recently hit 100 subscribers and thank you every single one of you for watching and supporting my videos. I wanted to do an updated tag so those of you who don't really know me can learn a little bit more about me and why I made a booktube channel. So let's just get to the first question which is why did you start this channel so i started this channel honestly just for fun and because in my real life i don't really have many people who read as much as i do or read the same books that i do so i decided to just make a channel and like make a little community on here my decision to make a booktube channel was kind of like a random thought one day and i just sat down and filmed a trailer reaction video and it just kept on going from there. Although I did take a break and then I came back really strong this year, I think. And I've been really consistent in uploading every week. So I'm really proud of myself for making it this far into the year in October to continue uploading videos every week. And really, I'm just happy to be here. So question number two is what are some fun and unique things that you can bring to book two? So recently I just started to upload individual reading vlogs with the focus being of only one book and I've been going really in depth in my thoughts and feelings and that's it's something new to me but I don't think it's really unique to book two. I think I also do tend to go quite in depth and in detail of whatever book series or book I'm reviewing in like my deep dive discussion videos and I think that might be more my unique style on here. I really like to dive in deep into characters, into the storyline, the writing, the world, and how it all comes together and into a good or a bad book. Eventually, I think I will be doing more like writing style type of videos but I just don't know when. <laughs> because right now I'm in like a writer's block phase and although I still have my book draft that I wrote in like NaNoWriMo 2020 yeah it's been almost two years since I've been actively writing but I think I will eventually get back to my NaNoWriMo story because I still really love my characters and the story that I did manage to write I can't say definitively when that will happen but it will happen I think so on to question three what are you most excited for about this channel? Mainly, I just want to connect to other readers and meet new people in the bookish community on booktube and also just find new books to read because I'm always looking for new ones. I'm also excited to see where like my channel takes me because sometimes I have random ideas and they just pop up on a random day and I'm like, oh, that's a good idea. So whatever happens in the future, I think I'll be excited to see what I may come up with so that's what I'm most excited about for this channel. Question four is why do you love reading? This might be a typical answer but I really love reading because it allows for a small escape from the real world and even just for a moment or two you can just escape into the fictional world with your beloved fictional characters and I just really love how books are a form of storytelling and you can just be so immersed into that and i think i would just always love following a character's journey and how they overcome their struggles and problems it's just something that i always loved in a book is connecting with the characters as well and question number five is what book or series got you into reading the book series two of them um that really got my reading to high gear was the twilight saga by stephanie meyer and the Hunger Games trilogy by Susan Collins. These two book series I absolutely adore and I was in high school when the movie adaptations were starting to come out for both of these movies and just being in like that fandom it was really really fun. Even now just seeing some adaptations coming out for like The Witcher, I haven't watched it yet but like Wheel of Time, also like House of the Dragon, with those kind of like fantasy shows coming out, it's so much fun just to see how, also Shadow and Bone. It's also really fun to just see how the fandom grows and how everyone's like speculating of what might happen on the show compared to the books. And also it's just like reviving 
the books themselves. I really love how Twilight and Hunger Games did bring my love for YA fantasy and the YA genre, but as of late I'm slowly moving into more adult books and I think I'm kind of outgrowing my YA phase. Question number six is what questions would you ask your favorite booktubers? So when I first read this question, Regan from Peru's Project came up and I think I would ask her since she's running like her booktube channel, she runs her Instagram, she has like a full-time job, and she also has like time for like family and friends outside of her jobs. Um, I would ask her how do you balance it all because it seems quite difficult sometimes because currently I have uh, work, I have school, as well as you know time to read and kind of do my bookish things. I still want to maintain my friendships and just have some me time outside of everything that I am doing actively. So I would ask her, how do you balance it all? And another booktuber I really love is Jenna Nee from This Story Ain't Over. I hope I pronounced her name correctly. I believe she works in the publishing industry and I'm just really curious about that type of career. So I'd ask her some questions about how did you get into the publishing industry and how do you like it as your full-time job and career? Because for me, I think like my passion does lie in books, but I also have a passion for the sciences and the human body and medicine. So with that, it's kind of like, do I bring my bookish hobby, like my personal hobby into a full-time career? Or should I just, you know, do both? Or do what I'm doing right now and like just have a booktube channel on the side. I guess I would ask her how is it going and where does she see her career going in the future and also like what is she currently reading? <laughs> Question 7 is what challenges do you think starting a booktube channel would be the hardest to overcome? Um, Definitely for me being in front of like a camera it's hard to be natural at times. Sometimes it's still quite weird for me to be talking to myself to a camera and then uploading it to YouTube. But I still think I am getting a little bit better at being in front of a camera. And I think another thing I struggle with since beginning my YouTube videos would be just speaking to a camera. But I'm sure over time, I will improve on that as well. Other than those two things, I think it's just finding the time to actually sit down and film and also trying to come up with ideas can be a struggle at times. So. Those are things that I guess would be the hardest to overcome. Question 8. When did you start reading? So I've always been a reader since I was young, but during high school when I was reading like the Twilight Saga series and the Hunger Games, like that just kicked everything off into high gear and I just started to read maybe two or three books a week. And I would finish a book in like one day, like a 500 page book in one day. I don't know how I did it back then. <laughs> because now I'm struggling to even read one book a week, but times change and you know, you're deaf. Question nine is where do you read? Mainly I read before I go to bed. So I'm like lying down in my bed and like being all comfy with my blankets and pillows. That's the most common place I tend to read, but I also do read during my commute. So I'm on public transit and I usually have a book with me wherever I go. So if there was like, maybe a minute or two, I would just like read one or two pages. And question 10 is the last question. What kind of books do you like to read? I mentioned this in a previous answer and I did say I really like to read YA fantasy books, but I am slowly growing out of that. Right now, I think my reading tastes include like adult rom-coms, fantasy books in general, both young adult and adult, some mysteries, some thrillers. I'm also exploring literary fiction because sometimes those books seem really intimidating to me, but I think I will tackle some of those books in the near future. And those were all the questions. I hope you enjoyed this little video and I hope you'll stick around to see more of my bookish content. And if you did enjoy this video, I hope you can give me a huge thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below, and ring the bell to be notified. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!